Hello everyone and welcome on this new deal of the day video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So before we start, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video. Also, guys, I would like to remind you that if you open an account in IC Markets and trade it using my link, I will be actually able to help you and assist you if you had any problems in your documentations or any problem at all if you had it with IC Markets. I will do the best I can to help you since your uh, link, your account actually is going to be under my own link. So by this way, you will actually be you will actually feel uh, protected and somebody can at least help you rather, rather than being alone. Anyway, guys. Today's deal actually will be on the Euro AUD. So let me just now share with you my setup here on the Euro AUD. First of all, my friends, right here, based on the four hour time frame, we do have right here, of course, a broken level of a support trend line. Check this out. So right here, we had that level of a support trend line. It became right here a resistance trend line for only once with this uh, long week right here. However, the market recently has made right here another fake breakout from that level. And right now, we are having here another resistance trend line has been completed. That means that the market right now is going to continue the fall. Um, the bearish movement now is quite stronger for the Euro AUD. So most likely we will be considering shorting the pair, knowing also right here that we had uh, a previous level of a key support. And as you can see, the market has just made the fake breakout from that level. And again, that level of a resistance trend line has indeed been respected. So that means that if we look carefully right here, we do have right here a real level of a resistance as we can see right here and right there and right there. However, it has indeed been respected recently. So most likely the Euro AUD will continue the fall. Moving now to the 30 minute time frame. So right here on the 30 minute time frame, what we are having right here is a, le uh, a real level of a resistance exactly at 1.64115. Now, if we think about it, most likely that will be actually a good level to start selling the pair. Now, if we actually check the resistance trend line, just like that, and that is, by the way, guys, uh, some strategy on my channel called the magic of trend lines. What you will do right now is simply move the same resistance uh, trend line as we can see right here and check this out right here. We had a real, a real level of a resistance trend line. As you can see, it has been respected repeatedly right here, especially after becoming a new support trend line. Keep going. I will continue placing this line right here at the nearest level of a resistance trend line. Check this out. So right here, exactly, just to be precise, exactly, just right there. Uh, we are having here a resistance trend line. It became a resistance trend line right here. Then recently it became another support trend line. So most likely if the Euro um, AUD will continue the rise, most likely that level of a real resistance plus the previous level of a resistance trend line will also going to be respected and the market will continue the fall. Another way to confirm this is, of course, by using the resistance trend line from another perspective, which is just simply like that. So right here. It will just be accurate. Exactly. So right here, I want to be accurate. So right here, we are having a resistance trend line number one, resistance trend line number two, another fake breakout from that level. And then it became another resistance trend line. So meaning that level of a resistance trend line is actually being respected. And right here, we finally had another fake breakout. So meaning the market has actually failed to create here a new support trend line. And instead, it just fell down. So let's wait for the retest to happen. First of all, the market will be retesting this level of a resistance trend line plus this level of a resistance will also going to be respected. And if that happens, we will actually end up with head and shoulders pattern in the case a continuation in the fall. So waiting for the Euro, uh, Euro AUD to rise to another 21 pips before we can start shorting it. Uh, however, Take profit level will be placed right here at the level of a nearest key, nearest key support level, expecting at least 87 pips or actually 88 pips profit from this signal and a stop loss that shouldn't be ranging much higher than the previous level of a support right here at 1.64567, ranging for about 44 pips only. And there goes your deal, my friends. And before we end the video, I just wanted to remind you that what I'm doing right here, guys, is actually something phenomenal. I'm sure that no one else on YouTube is doing that. No one is ready to take this responsibility by sending this amount of free signals on YouTube. 
all I'm doing right here is just simply trying to help you out with your trades. Sometimes the trades will fail. Sometimes it will go in the desired direction. Of course, I can never um, uh, guarantee anything at all. For example, my signal for selling the AUD UST is indeed running in profit. Uh, UST CAD hasn't been triggered yet. Uh, NZD, NZD, my signal for the NZD UST is also running so far in 20 pips of profit. So again, guys, we are doing here the best we can. But however, I don't want anyone to judge me if the signal has failed. Again, this is really normal. And remember that in, in the end, you are the one who receives uh, a free signal. And you should be actually careful about how you are using these signals. No one here takes any responsibility for your loss but you yourself because you are the one who choosing the lot size and you are the one who choose to follow the signal. If you feel that this signal will fail, then just simply don't follow it. So until then, my friends, I hope it will be a good deal and hopefully we will make good profits with it. So until then also, I hope uh, that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.